booktube welcome back um so if my hair looks a little butchered it's because i did it myself <laughs> uh, and i've been wearing a hat today while i was mowing the lawn but anyway uh i can't stand long hair so i had to try it i don't think it came out too bad i'm kind of happy with it uh anyway uh how are you guys all doing um i am sheltering in place uh illinois is uh set to stay that way till the 30th I was originally on paid administrative leave when the order originally took effect and um, then I was supposed to kick into vacation and uh, sick time, but once the uh, shelter-in-place order was extended through the end of April, that unfortunately resulted in uh, six of my coworkers being laid off, and uh, I was look at least one of the lucky ones this time, uh, as opposed to my situation when it was with Barnes & Noble, that this time I was furloughed. Uh, through April 30th, and we'll see what happens as that time frame approaches. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that the company will be able to survive past this um, and fewer people will end up losing their jobs. Um, at least what this means for me is I'm without pay during that time, but I think I still get to keep my health insurance. So I've been spending most of my time recently just on the horrific site of the unemployment uh, you know, websites and Having to deal with all that, it's just a bit of a nightmare, as you can imagine, because so many people are on there, and I don't know when anything is going to kick in. Uh, but I'm doing fine. Um, it's just I get very anxious when having to do, you know, that kind of official paperwork kind of stuff and the unknown of the future. So um, if there was something definite and I knew I was going back to work for certain, um, I think I could relax a bit more and just, you know, do what you're supposed to do, which I am at least. I'm sheltering in place. I'm being as careful as I can. Hopefully you guys are all doing that as well. Uh, like I said, the, the sooner everyone does it, uh, the sooner this can hopefully end and uh, help stop the spread and everything. So anyway, uh, I haven't done Friday Reads in a bit because I really haven't been reading all that much. I've been kind of, my thoughts have been on all that and my coworkers who I, I'm thoroughly depressed that I will not be able to you know, work with them again and see them. And uh, we've been chatting a lot on uh, on Twitter and stuff and it's it's just awful. It's an awful situation. I'm seeing this from the other point of view now uh, as to when I went through this with Barnes & Noble. And, um, yeah, it's like I said, it's it's it's, it's awful. Uh, but there are so many people in, in similar situations or worse situations. So uh, I'm grateful that, you know, myself and my family are all in good health. And um, hopefully, like I said, all of you are as well. Uh, so in terms of my reading, or lack thereof. Um, I am still listening my way through uh, The Way We Live Now by Anthony Trollope. I'm just shy of halfway through. I'm still enjoying the story, um, and I just recently came across uh, an interesting parts with uh, Felix Carberry, um, who is just getting himself further and further into a, a, in debt, and unfortunately pulling his mother right along with. Um, but it's just... Uh, it's a really good story. I just I absolutely love his writing. It just can suck you in. But because I'm listening to this as opposed to just physically reading the book, um, it's subject to whenever I am able to listen to my audio book. And that's mostly when I'm going out for a walk now. It used to be every time I'd be driving to and from work and in, in addition to walks. And Skippy doesn't exactly go for long walks anymore. It's just kind of to the corner, a couple houses down and back. Uh, but I've been trying to make time to, you know, go out, get some exercise. Um, but, you know, the weather hasn't been super cooperative. So I've had a couple couple decent walks. Um, and, and that's been enjoyable, just to kind of lose myself in a book. Uh, the other one, the the brick, is still here. This is Ducks Newberry Port by Lucy Yellman. Um, this one I'm also just shy of halfway. Uh, and it, But it's a book that at least uh, I don't have to worry about losing the plot because there really isn't any. Um, it's just her, the uh, ramblings of, uh, rambling thoughts of an Ohio housewife. As interesting as they are, um, like I said before, I can only do about 20 pages at a time or so, and then I just kind of want to do something else or listen or read or something else. So I will pick it up again um, when I'm kind of back in the mood for it. But I have stopped the past couple of days being distracted with the unemployment stuff and everything else, and I just need something else to read. Um, something a little more lighthearted. So I picked up a cozy mystery. Uh, this is a wee murder in my shop. It's a Scott shop mystery, first in a new series by Fran Stewart. Uh, it for the most part actually takes place in Hamlin, Vermont, uh, and it features Peggy, who owns this um, kind of authentic wares, uh, authentic, authentic Scottish wares shop, uh, and she goes to Scotland to purchase these items. And when she comes across this small little shop, also called a Scott shop in Scotland, ironically, uh, she ends up buying this 
shawl that uh, seems to have a bit of a ghost attached to it. Uh, no one else sees it. She doesn't even realize it, so she kind of brings it back. Um, and the uh, ghost follows her. And it's uh, I love the ghost aspect of it as well because here she, you know, he keeps talking to her and she's having conversations with it or trying not to when she's in public because people think she's talking to herself. And um, there's also the underlying mystery within the story. Uh, she had broken up with her fiancé when he cheated on her with a former friend now. And uh, that was right before she went on her trip. And now that she's back, she goes back to her shop and finds him dead on the floor of her shop. A huge, heavy bookcase has fallen on top of him, and there's something um, hiding behind the bookcase. <laughs> so don't really know, know too much about that, even at this point yet, um, and um, really no clue who the murderer is. So it's an engaging mystery, um, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. So I do have a second book. I've actually borrowed the, um, the first and second book in the series from work, so I'm not sure if I will be able to hang on to them for much longer, if I'll have to return them before... My furlough date, I uh, haven't really heard, so definitely want to finish this one at least. And the other book I plan on reading very soon is um, a book I received from an author whose books I have reviewed in the past, and she very kindly sent me one of her latest ones. It's the first in a new series. It's called The Bounty Hunter by Rachel Aukus, and this is book one in the Lone Gunfighter of the Wasteland series. She's the author of one of my favorite all-time zombie trilogies, the Deadland Saga, uh, which was based on Dante's Inferno. I know that sounds very weird, but trust me, you want to read these. I also read the Fringe series, although I only read the first book in that series. I definitely need to go and read the rest of them. And then there was uh, another series, which I'm I'm blanking on the title right now. It was like the Contain, Contagion or Containment series, oh, and I just read it. I think it was last year. Anyway, it was like a trilogy on that one, too, and I've enjoyed all of her books. So I'm really looking forward to this one. It's sort of described as a Western uh, post-apocalyptic story with a bounty hunter nicknamed Havoc who um, uh, is sort of going against some rich family that's controlling um, the lawless wasteland. So that's about all I know about it. Um, check out the cover on uh, Goodreads because it looks super cool in color, but even so, that still looks pretty awesome. So I'm looking forward to diving into this one. Uh, I don't know the exact release date of this, um, but I will put it in the um, notes down below as soon as I find out. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys are staying well and staying safe, and let me know what you're reading. If you're reading or you're having trouble reading, um, I, I have time to sit down and do it, and then I find myself just kind of getting lost in Facebook and watching updates from the mayor and the governor, and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's hard to distract yourself from, from that, you know, and just kind of just let it go. Um, but anyway, uh, hope you're well, like I said. And um, I'm actually filming this on Thursday. I think we have some weather coming up later today. Possibility of snow. Welcome to Chicago. Um, but anyway, you'll be seeing this on Friday. So <laughs> hope you're having a good Friday. Let me know how it is up there. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.